the wilderness cries to my soul, come forth and meet the challenges of nature, where each day brings new opportunity and the adventure quenches my thirst. My senses sharpen with every sight, every sound magnified, a one-on-one -on -one battle of hunter and hunted. I'm Jim Benton, and this is Chambered for the Wild. This is where the big boys roam. What a bear. That's a good buck right there. A land comprised of two islands, an enchanted realm hidden far away. Jim and wife Mindy have headed toward the bottom of the world, to New Zealand, on the hunt for the majestic red stag. The natural beauty of New Zealand, there's nothing else that compares to it. The mountains, how they come up out of the Pacific Ocean and then plunge down to these lush green valleys. Some of the most beautiful lakes in the world. And you know, it probably retains that beauty because of how remote it is. I mean, the next stop is Antarctica. So it's kind of like a hidden treasure out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Hunter Mindy Benton. Jim and I spent a few days exploring Queenstown, which is a beautiful town in the South Island. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness. It's really a neat place to visit, and Mindy and I, we just had a great time here on the South Island. On the South Island of New Zealand, uh, Jim was going to take his tar. Paul from uh, Wanganui Safaris lined up a helicopter to pick us up in Wanaka. Now from there, we're going to fly into the Southern Alps. We're going to be hunting tar at around 7,000 feet plus. It was about a 30 minute ride by helicopter and uh, it's not a ride for a weak stomach. Something magical about a tar, that long silk hair and how their horns come up and to see them running on the side of the mountain and you see how quickly they can move. It's a beautiful animal and an excellent trophy. When they hear that helicopter, the tar start to spread out, they move around, and the quicker that that helicopter can get out of there, the better you are. We were dropped off on the side of one of these ledges um, during the winter, deep snow, and this was steep country. It was tough to go 20 yards, but you know, this hunt was short. About the time I got set up, there was a tar. And then he gave me the shot. Right after I shot, you know, I wasn't for sure that I hit him. You know, judging the distance in these mountains sometimes can fool you. And uh, my guy, Phil, was saying, you hit him, you hit him good. We called the helicopter in. And it was really neat to see that helicopter go down and hook the horns of that car and that they held on. And then he, he brought the tar right over. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a beauty. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's heavy. They just, is this a typical or? That's a typical one. Now the hair, this hair is probably a good eight, 10 inches. Yeah. Oh man, it's just it thick. How old would this? This will be about seven, eight, probably nine years old. He's a mature bull. He's been mating with all the females. So okay. he's the king of the hill. Thank you, man. What okay. a trophy. I mean, the helicopter, the mountains. This is an adventure. That was neat. I'm telling you, it's really a different type of hunt. It was really exciting and I'll remember it forever. So Jim took his tar and finally we're off to the North Island where our hunt begins with Wanganui Safaris. Just a short plane ride and an hour trip to the lodge and you're in a whole nother world. Gourmet meals, warm showers, awesome accommodations. Paul Bamber, our host, uh, great professional hunters, awesome atmosphere. I almost don't want to go home. <laughs> 
There's more great hunting action when Chambered for the Wild continues. Well, we got one. What a buck. I mean, look at that. Look how close these suckers come. <laughs> yes. For your next hunting adventure, Chamber for the Wild Outfitters. Hey, there are cheap rifles, but then again, there are tiny TVs and small trucks, too. Then you don't want that. What you want is TC's Venture Bolt Action Rifle. MOA performance, three shots, one inch, 100 yards, guaranteed. Plus, 5R rifle, adjustable trigger, lifetime warranty. You want a gun that's dead on at go time? All this under 500 bucks. That's not cheap. That's value and best in class performance. Don't cut corners on your rifle. You want TC accuracy. The TC Venture from America's master gun maker, Thompson Center. Chambered for the Wild with Jim Benton is presented by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. By Reculator. Roll that bone by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. By Legends Taxidermy, creating legendary trophies. By Matthews, catch us if you can. And by Chambered for the Wild Outfitters, book your hunt with Jim. Few animals have the majestic look of the red deer stag. With his ruddy red coat and huge antlers, red deer stags are amazing. With looks and habits similar to North American elk, the stags are really quite different. Bull elk bugle a scream that echoes in the mountains. Sound that defines fall as much as the golden leaves of quaking aspen. Red stags vocalize with a roar huge stag can sound like an African lion as his signature voice resonates through the scrub. Stags also have a different antler conformation. Where an elk antler throws back at the ends of the main beams, red stag antlers crown into a cluster of points. These crowns, along with the medieval stories of Robin Hood and his Sherwood Forest, have given the red stag the undisputed title of the king's deer. Hunted like elk, red stags can be called into range, decoyed, or ambushed along trails, wallows, or rub lines. Getting the family involved in the hunting, uh, I really enjoy that. And to come to one of the most beautiful places in the world and to bring my wife along, that's the ultimate. Uh, the red stag was one of the species that Jim and I both had dreamed about hunting. So we came to New Zealand and to see these awesome red deer in this environment, it literally takes your breath away. Usually the stag bed down just after breakfast. So we knew if we set out later in the afternoon, we'd have a good chance of finding one. So we first set out with Mike, our professional hunter and instantly we started seeing amazing red stag. We spotted one in the distance. He was uh, just kind of by himself. We had spotted some a little bit north of him, but he was the one. And the closer we got, the better he got. <laughs> we made our way up onto a cliff and we could not go any farther. If we were gonna get that stag, we were going to have to set up and take a shot. My heart was just racing. So we set up, we watched him for a little while, and it was more of a waiting game. Different stag on the mountainside had picked up our scent and were watching in our direction. This guy was a little bit down the ridge. Be cool, he's, he'll give us a shot. And I had him in my scope and he turned broadside and gave me the perfect shot. I had that TC placed right on him, pulled the trigger. He got him! <laughs> Look at that and tag. he just dropped one shot. I was so excited. What a shot! 
It was everything that I thought it would be and absolutely more. Oh, yeah. Look at this red stack. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's beautiful. Points are just perfect. There's none broke off. I'm a proud hunter. What a stag. Pro Jim Benton continues his New Zealand adventure when Chambered for the Wild returns. Look at those teeth. Look how thick these bases are. Book your next hunting adventure with Chamber for the Wild Outfit. This portion of Chambered for the Wild is brought to you by Legends Taxidermy, creating legendary trophies. You know, going to New Zealand is like going to Africa. Uh, it's just a few hours shorter. The anxiety it kind of gets you there pretty quick, you know? Going to New Zealand with my wife, that was a great time. And being there when she you know, dropped a stag, that was that was special, you know. I actually felt like I was partially guiding when I wasn't. You know, sure we had a guide there, but to step back from the gun and hand it to my wife and, and, and be with her on her hunt, it was it was a fantastic time and it doesn't get any better when you can go on a hunt like that and spend it with your family. Oh, he's beautiful. Points are just perfect, there's none broke off. I'm a proud hunter. What a stag. Now, Jim and guide Lee Winterburn are deep in New Zealand. One morning, Lee and I were making our way up this trail, and all of a sudden, I felt Lee's hand to my gut, and I looked at his eyes, and his eyes were just like fixed, and I knew there's something going on. Get a nice day. We snuck over to the edge to try to get a better look at this stag and he's bedded and he's looking right at us. I mean, he looked great, but he stood up and he walked into the bush. It's a beautiful stash. He turned around and looked back at us and I'm 95% sure that this is a shooter, but not 100%. And then by the time he got farther back in the brush, I could tell this was a shooter, but I didn't have an opportunity. He wasn't giving me a good, clear shot. Mm. He might have been a shooter, but we just didn't get enough time. That was pretty exciting, and it really got me pumped, and you know, all day long, I'm just like, that was cool, that was cool. We first encountered that stag, and uh, he, he gave us the presentation when he turned his head, it was like, oh. It just took your breath away, and I saw Jim got really excited. I, I thought he was going to jump down the hill and try and jump on it. New Zealand's Wanganui River Valley of the North Island is a beautifully remote domain for the red stag. New Zealand's red stag are renowned for their big, majestic antlers. Similar in appearance to an elk, the unique crown points set them apart typically found in regal clusters on top. The crown points designate them king of this majestic island realm. Red stag are as awe-inspiring as the landscape they inhabit. When we come up out of this forest, there was this little plateau that had this small little lake on it, and there was these fallow deer that were feeding out by this lake. It was magical, it looked so neat. And actually, we got in pretty close. A couple of those look real nice. Yeah, there's some, some beautiful bucks there. Second from the right, he's a gold medal buck. But uh, I think we can do better than that guy. Man, that's a beautiful sight though. Fallow deer is pretty hard to judge. When I would see them, I would think, hey, there's a shooter. And Lee would say, no, we can do better than that. We look for big palms, nice prominent points, good length in the beans, nice spread, uh, good eye guards, good seconds. And we really like the fellow with big back kickers. Um, we have beautiful fellow deer here, some of the best fellow deer in the South Pacific. Yeah. 
very spooky deer so pretty good to be up 80 yards well, it was really neat to sneak up that close to the fallow deer but um, in the afternoon uh, we're kind of walking and all of a sudden Lee says jam jam and he points here's the same stag bedded up three or four hours later we might have another chance There's more great hunting action when Chambered for the Wild continues. Look at the head on his bear. Look at those teeth. Book your next hunting adventure with Chamber for the Wild Outfitters. This size is unbelievable. Chambered for the Wild with Jim Benton is presented by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. By Raculator, roll that bone. By Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. By Legends Taxidermy, creating legendary trophies. By Matthews, catch us if you can. And by Chambered for the Wild Outfitters, book your hunt with Jim. Get a nice day. We snuck over to the edge to try to get a better look at this stag. And he's bedded and he's looking right at us. I mean, he looked great. And then by the time he got farther back in the brush, I could tell this was a shooter, but I didn't have an opportunity. He wasn't giving me a good, clear shot. We just didn't get enough time. But um, in the afternoon, uh, we're kind of walking, and all of a sudden, Lee says, jam, jam, and he points. Here's the same stag bedded up. Three or four hours later, we might have another chance. for right there, that's a good stag. Earlier this morning, we walked up on this guy. We just couldn't judge him quick enough before he got into the undercover, but uh, we've been able to judge him here. He's a good stag. We're gonna wait for him to stand up and start feeding, come out in the open and give us that shot. That's definitely the stag we saw this morning. It's definitely the same stag, sir. It's kind of cool how his front tines go forward and then they turn. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's unusual. So now all we gotta do is wait him out. Wait him out. That's it. He knows he's safe right there. It's a waiting game. After sitting there for a while though, you know, this stag wasn't moving. It didn't seem like he was gonna get up. And we noticed that coming in was a heavy rain shower. We tried to wait him out. He's not budging. We got a heavy rain coming right at us. So we're gonna go down there and see if we can't, you know, push him out into the open. Sometimes you gotta make it happen. So when we got down there, we got about 60, 70 yards from the stag and he heard some noise. He turned his head, looked right over at us. So we quickly got set up. had a good rest. I was ready to make the shot. Come on, baby, get up. And that stag stood up. Huh. He's got to turn. Now I'm looking through the scope. I'm ready to shoot, but I need that broadside shot. Get a turn. He's hit. He's hit. Right in the hat. He's down. He's down. Good shot. 
<laughs> yes! 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 I made a great shot on this stag and I knew he wasn't going to go anywhere. He fell right out of sight into that thick brush, but I mean, finally, a New Zealand stag. Something that I've dreamed about for so long and it felt so good. Oh. Yeah. Man, he crashed right in there. Oh! Lee! Yeah. Let's pull his head over here a little bit. Beautiful. <laughs> he looks good, man. Looks good, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. Awesome. Woo. Awesome stack. I mean, just points everywhere. Yes, sir. And it's dark. Yes. And so we got brow, bray, bray, and tray. And tray. And of course, this is the, the royal crown points right there. And he's got some great ones. I mean, look at this. He's heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven great points here. Yes, sir. This side, what's he got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got seven on that side, too. Yes, he does. And he's heavy. Got the mass. He does. He's this is a great stag right here. Yes, sir, he is. Beautiful stag. Nice frame to him. Yep. Yeah, look at it. Almost almost touches. You six say about six inches? About six inches. What do you think those main beams are? I, I think this size is like 42, 44. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, it should be like 39, 40. You can tell he's quite an old bull, too. See, there's a bit of a bulb in his brow tone. It's getting a bit of age. And then when they start to turn their, their points like this, it means that they're getting a bit of age. He's an old guy. He's an old guy. You like him, sir? Yes, sir. Great. Yes, sir. And he's what you wanted. He, he's dark with white ivory tips. Beautiful. I didn't think he'd ever stand up. No, sir. Uh, what a stag and what a hunt. <laughs> Look at this. What a bear. Book your next hunting adventure with Chamber for the Wild Outfitters. Look at the points on this.